Justin, 7-2, and two, tied for first in the AL and wins, a 2.13 ERA. Won his last star Tuesday against the Mariners, giving up a run and striking out a season-high 12. Oh, that's got to be a called third. Yes, it is. Jazz Chisholm Jr. goes down on strikes, looking at a third one for Verlander's first strikeout of the day. Foul tip caught by Castro. How about that tone-setting inning for Justin Verlander? One, two, three with a couple of strikeouts. For the Marlins, it's Edward Cabrera, third start of the season. Brings an 075 ERA into this one today. And the youngsters got wipeout stuff. Jose Altuve stands in to start things off. Fastball, and Altuve is ready for it. Jose with the first pitch swing will head to second base. He's got a leadoff double to start things off in the bottom of the first inning. Problem hasn't been getting runners into scoring position. The problem has been getting them home. Let's see what the Astros can do here with a great opportunity in the first inning. Brantley takes one in the dirt, and that gets past Fortes into the screen. Altuve trots to third. Marlins keeping the infield back with Altuve at third, and it's two balls and a strike now to Brantley. Ground ball with the infield back is going to score a run. Aguilar will flip to Cabrera, and the Astros score the first run of the game. Michael Brantley drives in a run. The Astros have not led in this series until that ground out by Brantley. 1 0 Astros lead the Marlins, bottom of the second. Guriel batting 219, 270 on base percentage. Yuli lines it down the left field line. That's a base hit, and that's going to bounce all the way to the out of town scoreboard. Yuli speeding for second base as Williams fishes it out. And for the second straight inning, the Astros have a leadoff double. So Gurriel still at second with one out for Castro. Castro rolls one to first. They get the out. Gurriel moves up 90 feet. Well, another test here for Cabrera. Leadoff double, but now two outs. Swung on and missed. That's the changeup for Cabrera, so works around the leadoff double this time. Justin Verlander facing now Brian De La Cruz, the former Astro farmhand. That went hit. That's going to to left field, it'll hold up, and Michael Brantley makes a sliding catch as he moves into left center field, and now they are two away. Excellent play by Brantley. Yep. Ball had some tail to it, and it was moving away from Michael Brantley. We go to the last of the third. Jose Altuve leads off 2-2 to Altuve. That's a foul tip into the catcher's mitt. Took one extra pitch, but Cabrera gets the K of Altuve. It's his second strikeout in the ballgame, his second in a row. Two aboard here with two outs in the third. Cabrera's had to work around base runners through these first few innings. Ground ball. Is he going to get out of it? Jazz makes the play. And he will. How about the job for Edward Cabrera? Up to the task on a Sunday afternoon against Verlander and the Astros. Figured not going to be too many base runners against Verlander. And with two outs, get Rojas in the scoring position. Jesus Aguiar now with tying run 90 feet away. Ground ball towards Altuve. Has to move to his right. His throw is there in time. And Justin Verlander works around his first base hit and base runner of the game. So the Astros with a base runner. The Astros have had base runners in every inning. Here's Jeremy Pena. Oh, my goodness. That would be a home. drive. Deep left field. Forget about it. Jeremy Pena. A two-run home run. Astros now in front, three to nothing. Pena hits home run number nine on the season. Left it out over the middle of the plate. Jeremy killed it. Uh, I said the story. He followed that the whole way. That was well yeah. struck. And Jose Siri is on with one out. Going to set up here for the Astros. Flip it over to the top of the order. And Jose Altuve. Siri on the go, and there's a base hit for Altuve. Siri's going to try to get to third. He goes head first, safe. He can kill, and Siri goes first to third on the ball, hit to left. Now gives us a chance for Michael to do his stuff. Now Michael Brantley first and third, one out. Ground ball right side. Chisholm goes to second for one. Brantley beats the throw. Throw gets away. Siri scores. Michael Brantley has a couple of RBI ground outs today. It's now four to nothing. Jordan Alvarez with runners at first and second. Brantley's at second base. He drove in a run here in the inning. Bregman is at first base. That would hit right back up the middle. Rifled into the center field. That'll be an RBI single as Brantley comes around second. He will score. And the Astros continue to pour it on here in the inning. They lead it five to nothing in the fourth. Fastball that was basically middle middle. Well, Alvarez knows what to do with those. Yeah, absolutely. Justin Verlander back to work facing Jesus Sanchez who flied out his first time. Swing and a miss. Got him on a slider. 
And Verlander has his third strikeout of the afternoon. Two out, Brian De La Cruz, first pitch, and that's driven pretty deep to center. It sends back Siri onto the track, and he makes the catch, crashes into the wall. Excellent play by Jose Siri. De La Cruz just missed getting this one out of here, but Siri able to catch it against the padded wall to the left of the 409 foot marker in straightaway center. JV back to back strikeouts. Two strikeouts in the first, two more strikeouts here in the sixth inning. Verlander continues to move up the charts. He is now just two away from CC Sabathia number 16 all time in Major League history in strikeout. Verlander peering over the glove now delivers a one two to Rojas and that is hit softly leaping grab by Altuve. Had to use all of the vertical leap to corral that line drive by Rojas and it's a one two three inning for Verlander strikes out a couple. Have a runner in scoring position. There's one out here in the seventh inning. Here's Jesus Sanchez. And Sanchez ropes this one to the right side. A diving stop in short right field by Altuve, and he'll throw him out. Altuve ranging far to his left. He's able to make the play on one hop, stands up and throws out Jesus Sanchez. In short right field in the shift. Getting to the ball was the hard part. Excellent play by Altuve laying out on the dive. A two down Soler to third for Williams Astudillo now. Bouncer. Altuve tested again. This time can't make the play. Astudillo will reach and Soler will score. So the Marlins do get a run here in the seventh. Four test takes outside and low ball four. That is the first walk of the day allowed by Justin Verlander. And it's two on and two out. 0 1 pitch to De La Cruz who almost hit one out to center field his last time. And now this one to left. He does hit it out this time. De La Cruz with a three run shot. And all of a sudden, the Marlins make noise in the seventh. It's a one-run game. And Justin Verlander cruising along, and the floodgates have just kind of opened up. Now, this was a missile right here, fastball right down the middle, and the Marlins are in business. Here we go. Alvarez on third base, Tucker on first, one out. Trying to add to a 5-4 lead. Uh-oh. Well, they've got the runner picked off at first, but now runner's coming home, and they've got Alvarez. What a break. So that's a huge second out, but still a runner in scoring position for Guriel. Broken bat, ground ball to short. Miggy's got it. Off balance throw, gets the out at first base. Wow, a deep breath here in the seventh inning. Marlins still down one. So now one out, runners on first and second. Now two bay bats, two hits on the day. And that is hammered deep to left field. Going back, Williams at the wall, looking up. See you later. Jose Altuve's 12th home run of the year is a three-run blast. Astros' lead is 8-4. to four. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, opportunities missed, but that was a pitch that Jose Altuve did not miss. And that ball was smoked. Altuve was all over it. So now second and third one up. As now Jordan Alvarez will stand in. Jordan lines one to center. Sanchez makes the catch. Here comes Brantley. The throw will be up the line. Michael safe. That'll be a sack fly for Jordan. Brantley avoids the tag and it's now 9 to 4. Marlins are down to their final strike. The 0-2. Curveball grounded. Right side. Only infielder on that side. Guriel makes a sliding stop. Flips to Presley in time and that is the ball game. The Houston Astros in their three game skid as they defeat the Miami Marlins today by a final of 9 to 4.